Huskies join. Well, I suppose that's good. Male husky, uh, two male huskies. Well, still not too bad. All right. You know what? Time for us to start naming our new animals. It's been a little while. Got three huskies to name. You know the drill. Name in game. 10,000 dapper ducats. We will be training these huskies to haul. They will be loved and cherished and protected from all our enemies on pain of death. And occasionally they may have their paws rendered inoperable because Leafin is having a sulky day because it's cold. Don't look at me. I don't control him. Sadly. But uh, naming game is about to be unpaused. First come, first served, and then I'll refund the others. There you go. Good enough. Thank you very much. Uncle Zoid, sadly, you were just a moment too late. Let's get you guys all set up. So, Husky 1. Nine. Now, I can already see where Nine's going with this. <laughs> My lord. Uh, Nine is after Leafin, knowing that Leafin is doing a lot of the training. Next up, we've got Sebastian. And finally, quite an appropriate name, we've got Spring Critter. Here we go. Thank you very much, peeps. Welcome to the colony. Long may you live here and not be eaten by feral wags. I would actually laugh so hard. I would feel bad about it as well. So understand that it would come at a cost to me as well. But I would have laughed if the moment we named those huskies, they just wandered straight past the mechanoids on the way to the base and then just got slaughtered. I'd be sad. But there'd be a part of me that did see the irony of it as well. Take care, Noin. Alas, while I would love to stay, I have to head off now. I shall be back soon, DM. Take care, buddy. Have a good one. You! What? I disapprove! Oh, my lord. Why are these elk deciding to commit suicide on my colonists? I, just, I don't have enough food for this nonsense. How came to feed the animals? Well, I mean, I guess so. It shouldn't be normal for us to be hunting the elk inside my my own area, but sure, whatever. At least there's some decent practice for our colonists, I suppose. Is that all of them? I think it may be. No, no. Only one more. We're lucky it won't lead us on a merry chase down to the Mechanoids. Oh, there we go. Alright. Also, we need to put a cooler into our... Into our tomb. Not that... I'm, sadly, I think Belial's corpse has decayed to the point of being a skeleton now. But if we can keep this area cool then future corpses will have a much better chance of remaining um, uh, avoiding decay so that once we get our hands on some resurrection mechanites 
there's a lower chance it would cause any kind of crazy nonsense with their brain when they get revived. At least you don't have to haul so far. That is true, actually, yeah. I guess we've got to look on the bright side, eh? Oh, I just I just cleared out all the leather, though. Come on. Why? My goodness. Uh, at this point, though, we can get rid of the passive cooler, since we're going to have a, uh, a regular cooler. And on the, the other good point is that we're going to have so much meat now that training our new huskies shouldn't be too hard for us. We're going to have plenty of materials for that. How long is this coming? It's up to... Oh, we're almost at another point where we can uh, get another colonist to be uh, cyclically active. What's Leafin doing these days? Mostly meditating. Fair enough. Okay, I'd like you to be at 75. There we go. Animal tree linking. Uh, sticks. Sure, let's have a psychic power couple. Uh, what are your needs like? Your needs are good. Go ahead and... Uh, and link with the anima tree. <sighs> Is there no cloning tech in this run? Mm, what do you mean cloning tech? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that mod. Oh, that makes sense, Darkfire Phoenix. If you use the hygiene mod, then... Well, I mean, if you actually have water as a resource in the game, it makes sense that you would then need it for the passive cooling instead of using wood all the time. Yeah, I'm not familiar with any cloning mods, so uh, we definitely haven't got one of those running. Baldrick is taking some time out to... Oh, there we go. Right, sticks, what have we got? We have got... Stun! Oh, thank goodness, someone actually got a useful one. Oof. Though, now, you can sort of think of the power couple as... Sticks stuns people so that they can be more reliably incapacitated in sim instead of simply killed. And then once they are captured, Colette uses Word of Trust to rapidly lower their guard so that they can be recruited. Like I said, power couple. I am going to... Um, See, I don't want to necessarily have the animals able to eat in there, but we are running low on food for them really hard. So, uh, rabbit, oh, that was a very big mistake. You're literally sleeping in the freezer. I don't even, what is life? I, what did you think was going to happen, rabbit? <sighs> My lord. However, we need 90 steel. And we've got 69. Uh, okay. Oh, we need to mine some down by the anima tree then. Should be more than enough. Right, let's have a look at your needs. In cold, awful barrack. Well, you know, that happens. This is keeping the area at 18 degrees. I mean, it's not even close to 18 degrees, actually. Uh, this one could go as high as 20. So between the two of them... Well, actually, it's a much larger room, but they may gradually... manage to pull it up over, a, over freezing? No, it's getting worse. Never mind. Guess we're going to need another heater in here to be able to warm this entire room. Because, again, it's actually trying to warm the other rooms around it as well. So, mm, I suppose. 
Wait until we've got the wind turbine up and running though before we get too focused on that. Uh, also, I would kind of like to condense my inventory if I can. There we go. It's a bit easier to watch. Yeah, today has been a really, really uh, slow one, actually. And this happens sometimes. It's one of the reasons why I, I mentioned that uh, I find Randy Random in some ways easier than Cassandra. Not, well, maybe not so much easier, but uh, less consistently aggressive than Cassandra late game. Because Randy is just... You can have, like, a year in game where nothing happens of, of particular note. Nothing particularly hard, because Randy is just throwing stuff out there randomly. Hence the name. Whereas Cassandra will escalate the challenge over time, consistently getting harder and harder and harder to meet your, your increased capabilities. And even when things do go wrong and Cassandra takes a step back, it's only by a little bit. Eventually, you get to a point where Cassandra is consist consistently throwing, you know, colony-ending threats your way. It's it's one of the nice things about Randy, and also one of the the bad things because you can sometimes go through a period of time where it's just kind of boring. <laughs> Nothing's happening. There we go. We managed to seal off all of the. Leather in there, good, good, good. Once, oh, we got the second one up and running, perfect. All right, time for another heater then. These three heaters should, I'm assuming, manage to, to get these rooms re reasonably warmed up. So I'm gonna set this one down to 15. This one up to... That'll be 18 and then this one will be 20. So actually I'll set this one down to 16 then. The reason why I stagger them like this is because a heater or a cooler uses significantly less power when it's in when it's not needed. So it's in a low power consumption mode. And so if the temperature wasn't too extreme, right now it's quite extreme outside. It's like minus 36 C. So I'll probably end up using all three of these heaters full ball and still not actually reach my desired temperature of 20. But let's say the temperature was only zero. It was it was just a, a on the on the triple point of water. Uh, actually, the triple point of water I think is like what, one point two or something like that. But uh, the heater here would kick in in order to pull the temperature up to sixteen, and then once this once it crested like seventeen eighteen, this heater would go into low power mode because. The other heaters were enough to keep it at that temperature, and then, you know, eventually you'd get it up to 20. And assuming it was warm enough outside, only this heater would need to be active at all. And so the other two would just be idling with a very, very low power consumption. And it's the same with, with, most, uh, with most coolers. I never set, like, a bank of coolers all to the same temperature. I have them stepping up, or rather stepping down in this case of coolers, so that some of them can go idle if there's just not that much demand for, for heating or cooling going on. Right, the lab... Uh a labor union. I was going to say the labor union. I was like, really? We're being attacked by labor? What the heck? Uh, all right. We've got five humans there, mixed weapons. We're actually reasonably far away from our nearest neighbors. And down here we've got, again, mixed weapons. You might actually activate the, the mechanoids. And I'm kind of waiting on that happening. Okay. I'm really hopeful that you do. I'm kind of tempted to go out there and poke them myself. Colette, where are you? Colette, come on. Let's go. Colette, run down. Go, go, go. Quickly. 
sadly, I think they're going to be on the move. Right, they're settling up over there, so we can safely hang tight down here. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Collect. Poke the bear. Okay, moving. Head home. <sighs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. You can't you can't ask for something more wonderful than having an active mechanoid threat right next to a bunch of, of uh, raiders. Uh, okay, let's get everyone else back indoors, though, because uh, the mechanoids... Well, actually, the mechanoids may well just wipe these guys out and then meet the others trying to get in. Move up. Move sharpish, if you can. I'm not sure if they're going to be on the way, though. Hmm. <laughs> yep, they're already fleeing. Glorious. Now, they may follow around this way. In which case, it's possible I can get them to all join us at the same time. It might not be possible. Let's have a look. Somewhat wounded, somewhat... They're all... Actually, this one's quite wounded, so that's, that's reasonably good. Um, let's get everyone inside. And then lock the doors down there. Man, not human leather sandbags feel so wrong. Right, go about your business for a bit. Eat some food, etc., etc. We'll wait. We'll deal with this raid because that one will come to us. But it looks like they're just going to sit around and guard, and that's fine. Uh, yeah, we should be okay. I think. You've activated my trap card, indeed. Okay, they're on their way. Good. Oh. Oh, fantastic. Hooray. We've got a new recruit, just as we're getting raided as well. Hmm. Where am I going to have you go? Uh, don't want to take up this room, because it's actually useful for us right now. Shoo. For the time being, Leafin, I do apologize, but you, your room is, is becoming very quickly the uh, preferred room for anyone who gets recruited until we build a better one. Okay, we need a new name. We're going to name them before the, the raid because at least that way they'll die with a name, you know? Drinks are so good. Maybe Leafy can find a new love to dig up when they die. What? Rude. Leafy would never do such a thing. Right. Knocker, let's get you a name. You are Mumbles! Welcome to the colony. Thank you very much, Mumbles. All right, let's have a look at you. You're a crash baby. As a baby, Mumbles was the only survivor of a deadly spacecraft crash. A passing tribe discovered him in the wreckage and adopted him. And warrior. Mumbles was a fearsome warrior, proficient with many weapons. He participated in many battles. Very well. Psychically deaf, great memory, trigger happy. Very good with intellectual. That is going to be a huge boon to us. A huge boon. I'm going to get you to work... On yeah, you can you can be on a more nocturnal schedule. Spread things out a little bit. Uh, you're you've got some interest in doctoring, but you're just not good at it. So I'm going to put it down on a four. You have got decent interest in wardening. You haven't got a lot of other abilities. Um, I'm going to give you a two on that. You can help her out with cleaning. 
Yeah, okay. I think that's uh, fairly decent for now. Uh, we will have you on constructing, but I'm going to pop everyone with awful skills back down to a four. And, yeah. I, th I think that should be a fairly decent setup for you there. Uh, as for your current setup of food, lavish. Yeah, everything is decent there, I think. Right, they're on their way. No, sticks, bad time. Bad time to want to be outside. Alright, let's get everyone together then. As for mumbles, what would you prefer weapon wise? They're actually not too bad in a bunch of ways. Um, do we have any more guns? Sure. We'll get you the, the pump shotgun we've been holding on to for a million years. Uh, as for my animals, I need I need to give them... All right, okay, I need to make sure that safe is safe. And that is, they're not going to starve because I forget that they're in safe. There we go. I'll give you access to this part of the freezer. Uh, in fact, just that shelf. Since that shelf can only contain... I need to have these doors selected so they can move through. But that shelf can only contain meat. Uh, and for that matter as well, I'm going to add animal home to this as well. So again, if you need food, you can get it there. Uh, let's get the pistol used down the sides, please. Rapid fire, either side, revolver down there too. And animals, could you please all go to safe? Uh, road train, hmm, you're going to be with High Kaiser though. If you need to, I will release the Warg of War. Uh, could you not be that out in the open? Okay, one has already gone down, two. Three. No, hasn't gone down, but it's quite badly hurt. Probably going to really regret that. And they're breaking already. Well, that was boring. Release the Warks of War! I, I, I said rele release the Warks of War. <sighs> Certainly not a Yoko. Yoko would have already eaten half of them while they were trying to escape. And then would have gone down to kill all the mechanoids. And then eat their ship as well. Road Train has very, very big shoes to fill. Or big paw prints to match. Uh, nevertheless, that wasn't too bad of an engagement. Rock said no. Yep, yeah, pretty much. And that right there is the problem. Wag should not say no. Right, we want to allow all of the gubbins down here. I think. Let's just make sure that everyone is is relatively well taken care of. They are. I'm going to allow this. Let's actually grab all of the doors and allow them all. Nope, that, that was the opposite of allow them all. I was, in fact, disallow them all. There we go. Right, Colette, we are going to be going down. We are going to be playing with the mechanoids. This is going to require a decent chunk of people. Hi, Kaiser. How are you feeling? And are you good enough to fight? Yeah, you are good. We need that revolver. It's pretty amazing. Mumbles, you take care of your needs up here. Okay, let's grab the machine pistol. Valderic. Yeah, you're great. Uh, sticks. Whether you want to or not, you're coming down here because I need that stun. Salakin. You should be already on the way. Leafin. Uh, Leafin, you can... Mm. No, you're coming down as well, actually. Painbok might be a useful one for us. Minx, uh, mech danger. I'm already dealing with... What? 
I can already see I don't want to take this. One auto mortar, one countdown activator, three proximity activators, three glo uh, gloom lights, one mech high shield, three mech capsules, one mech drop beacon, two auto charge turrets, and one auto inferno turret. No. A silent neuroformer. I mean, that's nice, but no. Denied. Punk. Still undecided about this one. Fairly certain we're not going to do it, though. All right, animals, you're all good. You can hand back out now. Now the client is here, let's move down. Start taking shots where we can. Colette, can you take a shot? There we go. Okay, they're inbound. Uh, move up a bit. Revolvers up front. I'm on auto pistols. Need a lot more damage than this, please. Side that is quite badly damaged. Right, hi Kaiser. Release the wag. Right, move in so you're not shooting the wag, you dummies. You got shot by a bloody revolver. You scoundrels, you. Moving closer, there we are. You two. Aim for this one with sticks. Need that stun, mate. Drop it on the one attacking our wag. Perfect. There we go. Now we've actually got people in the right spot. We're able to do this. Move right up, please. Okay, need another stun. It doesn't last long on a mechanoid, but it does still affect them. Perfect. Let's get in there. Let's have a look at you. Okay, eight hours. Not grand, certainly, but uh, Colette, hi Kaiser, you're released from this so that you can head back. So is Leafin. Same reason. Head back. Take care of Road Train. The rest can finish the, the ship. Uh, Leafin and hi Kaiser talked about vomiting as they walk into battle. <laughs> yeah. They do talk about random stuff quite a lot, actually. All right, go ahead. These can be collected in a moment. Oh, Road Train. Yeah. The Road Train handle that like a champ. Let's have a look at Road, uh, road Train's log. Road Train kicked gravel into the Scyther's eyes. The Scyther has eyes? Uh, road Train's front leg was pierced by High Kaiser's revolver bullet. It was High Kaiser. <laughs> Shot road train as well. Ah, uh, that's so much worse. Um, the scyther jabbed road train in the spine. Road train scratched the scyther in the left arm. A crack in the left arm caused the scyther to stop functioning. The scyther jabbed the road train in the left lung. This is the other scyther, obviously. Road train then scratched the scyther in the left shoulder and then in the right pinky, leaving a disgusting wound. The scyther jabbed road train in the stomach and then road train chomped the scyther in the left leg. I know, for shame, High Kaiser. Generally speaking, if a colonist is right next to someone when they're firing, like you have a 0% chance to accidentally hit the tile, a tile right next to you. If, you. if your shot goes wide for any reason, it won't hit the tile right next to you. Uh, so, it's always a safe spot to put someone just one tile ahead of someone. As for the tribute collector, I don't think we've got anything to tribute. Yeah, we've got no, we've got no uh, prisoners right now, sadly. So no, that's not happening. Let's 
Well done. I've managed to take everything out. What the heck is that? A mechanoid interface chip? This uh, stellated octahedron shaped chip is a marvel of advanced technology used by mechanoids to interface technology with organics for unknown purposes. It could pro probably be repurposed for bioengineering. The chip is used to create mechanoid hybrids in Genetic Rim if you have the appropriate research. Oh, okay. Very well. 